the NIH has funded, currently has funded uh, at least, two, no, I think I know of three studies that are treatment studies for children with recurrent abdominal pain or chronic abdominal pain. And so we will learn from those if the treatments that they're suggesting work. And these tend to be, these are short-term kinds of treatments, three, four, five sessions. So that's very helpful to know that that's, that that's happening and giving us, and all those treatments are based on what we've learned in the research. I think another thing that's very important is for us to change the healthcare system because what we have now is um, some people can get additional services for um, behavioral health, for coping with pain through their behavioral health component of their insurance, but some people, those services, those, um, those benefits vary a great deal. And so it means that some kids who see their physician can get these adjunct therapies and others can't. What I'd like to see is a better integration of behavioral health and um, medical treatment so that we can have a multidisciplinary approach. You can, it's more like one-stop shop. You go into the clinic and you get a medical evaluation. You get a case manager or somebody who helps you with the, the psychological and the stress kinds of components of this. And that's what everybody gets.